I'm Bridget and this is the Pop Crunch Show. Welcome to Wednesday, August 2nd. There's been a lot of talk lately about who's a diva and who's not. Madonna isn't really somebody with a diva reputation. But she has quite a list of special requests when she's on tour. Things like dozens of white roses in her dressing room and several yards of white fabric to drape in it. Another request? A brand new toilet seat for her bathroom in every venue on the tour. Apparently the toilet seat has to arrive brand new, still wrapped in the plastic, and then her people open it and supervise the installation. Then, after Madonna leaves the venue, somebody's job is to go get that toilet seat and destroy it so that no one can sell it on eBay. I wonder how you destroy a toilet seat. I wouldn't want to be the guy in charge of destroying the toilet seat every night after the show. Speaking of special requests, Janet Jackson felt so shy when she was making her new video for the song Call On Me that she insisted she be surrounded by screens during the taping. Not because of the skimpy clothes she was wearing, she just gets shy in front of strangers. The video is just released and it's supposed to be the most expensive video in the last three years. There's a picture of Janet on the set wearing the yellow genie dress she wears in the video. It's so... It's so yellow. And spandexy. She's obviously lost a lot of weight. She's happy to have her six pack back again. Good for her. Really. Good news for the day. Heath Ledger was officially chosen to play the Joker in the sequel to last year's movie Batman Begins which will be called The Dark Knight. I remember when Jack Nicholson played the Joker in the 1989 version of Batman. I was eight years old, and he freaked me out. I honestly had Joker nightmares. Christian Bale will be back as Batman, and the movie is set to start production sometime next year. Heath Ledger's character will be similar to other Jokers in the past, in that he'll have full makeup and costume and will probably never show his actual face in the movie. Darn it. No, actually, I'm looking forward to it. Having Ledger as a Joker makes it seem like the whole role will be less creepy, more funny. Until tomorrow, I'm Bridget and this is the Pop Crunch Show.